want to do a little different video today. Get my computer out of the way. A lot of times when I'm watching videos, a common thing I hear is, well, I don't want to put any music on because I don't want to get a strike. This, you know, which, which happens. So it's a YouTube fear. I'm going to get strikes and then I'm going to lose my channel. Yeah, if you want to speak to the expert on that, check out Bobby Gass. He's had more channels than England's had kings and queens. Uh, pretty amazing. But he still keeps going, so God bless Bobby. But it's, and, and, and I understand that fear, you get a strike, when you get three strikes, for the most part you get warnings. But there are certain artists you can't play. But it is quite easy to find out what you can play and can't play. I, I do a lot of samples. At first I never did. Worried about the strikes, then to learn how to do it. YouTube's changed how they've done it, and when they changed it, I used to look everything up. Now I do it differently, and at first, oh man, this is a pain in the ass, but actually it's quite simple. So I want to go through and show how I find out if I can play certain types of music. What can I put on my program? And, you know, what's, you know, to, to understand. So I've actually recorded a few songs. One of them I'm pretty sure would I would get a strike if I played it. The others should be okay. But we're going to find out. There's different ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to go through my process. There might be, you might be doing, for some of you, you might already be doing this. You have an easier way. That's great. My way seems to work easy for me. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And this is how then I put samples. I find samples are just, we, we can explain the music, but when we hear the music, that's what grabs us. That's what appeals. You know, we don't, um, you know, you're, you're at some record, so you hear it go, wow, what's that? Well, that's just even the sample. Wow, what's that? I, I want to hear more about this. That's the exciting part of it. It does take a little more time. But it's pretty, it's worth it. I, I, I personally love um, when people play them. Uh, and it costs me a ton more money also. So let's walk through my process on how I do this. And maybe it'll work for you. Okay? All right, let's do this. So when I want to edit, what I use is iMovie. And you can see it right there. Um, I have this on both my iPhone and my iPad. Obviously, I have Apple. Uh, that makes it simple. Uh, this is an easy way for me to edit. It's quick. It's fast. I get what I need. You can't do anything really fancy with it, but I can do enough and uh, get what I need. So I will film my samples, and then I go into this. We'll turn that back on, and I will create um, a tiny little movie with my samples. So I'll show you what I do. Okay, I'm in my iTunes. Got my computer open too, but this is my work computer, and I really I don't do editing because it's quite frankly it's an old laptop. So I just do everything on this iPhone or this iPad. So here we are. We're going to go into Plus, and we're going to we can see that movie or trailer. So we're going to make a movie, and down here it says Create Movie. I want to create a movie. At the very top, I have Video. I'm going to click that. And you can see it says recently added. Let's do that. All right, here are my newest movies. And so I'm going to take, I'm going to do a Led Zeppelin sample right there. I have a sample from the adolescence. We click that. We hit the little plus sign. And then there's a Bob Dylan one here. And we'll hit the plus sign. And once we have that, now what we're going to do, we're going to hit the word done. Okay. And from here, we have the little, see the little send kind of button down there? I'm going to click that on. And up at the top, it says options. So I'm going to click on options. Hit options right there. And, and I just exported it. I hit the wrong button. Can you believe that? Well, what I did is I just exported it, but I put it in at a lot more um, resolution. By doing this other part, if I hit options, if it goes right, there it goes. You can see I got 300, 540, 720, or 1080. Uh, I like to do, since this is just a sample, I'm going to do like 
a 540. I don't want a lot of resolution because it, you know, it goes quicker when I use less. So I have that. I'm going to back out. And from there, I'm going to hit Save Video. And there it's exporting it. And ta-da, we have it. And now it's in the system. So I can go in and when I go into YouTube, I can find this. Okay, so now I did my movies separate. I mean my movies, my, my, my samples separate. You can do the whole video. You can put your samples in. The key is when you save it in YouTube is that you hit it private. Personally for me, I like to know what samples I can play before I do my video. That way, as I'm talking about it, I can say, okay, I want you to hear this, or I want you to hear that. It makes transition easier instead of having suddenly one comes up, oh, I got to take that out, and I don't have a really good transition. So I, I find for me, uh, just as I plan a video or think about what I'm going to do, which sometimes you watch, you go, God, do you actually have a plan, Steve? Yeah, I kind of do. I just tend, tend to go off track an awful lot but i know going into before i shoot my video exactly what songs that i could save so what what i do is um is, is i'm going to download them i'm going to download them into the system in, into youtube and we're going to do it as private and then youtube's going to tell us what we can and can't play so let's do that okay all right, so here we go. You know, the, I tell you, this this just not the most crude. Hey, here's how to do a video you've ever seen, but oh well, life's a bitch. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay, we're going to go to YouTube, and I want. Come on, open up. There we go. All right, from here, we're going to download our video, and so we're going to download, and we're going to do video. So now there's the one that we just did. So that's all three songs. So let's do this. I'm going to press that. Turn that off. And let's go up here. We're going to go to next. All right. From here, scroll down. So create a title. And we're just going to do just something simple. I just put in test. That's my title. And take that down. The other big part is make sure this is set to private. I don't put, you know, subscription, none of that makes any difference. The main thing is, even if you don't have title, it has to be on private. The private will keep you from having a strike. So we're going to go up and we're going to, now we're going to upload this. And it'll just take a few seconds. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to give this probably about a minute to upload um, to go into the system and then YouTube's going to look this over and they're going to tell me what I can and can't play. So hold on one minute and uh, let's take a look. All right, now we're on my main YouTube um, page. I got some additional sounds. Now the people that for a while through yard decided to come to and add to um, the noise I have going on. Everyone just wanted to wait till I make a video. So we're going to go over here to manage videos that on and we're going to find out what YouTube says what we can and cannot play all right so here we go we're going to go here let's click on here's our one see we got uh, this this is our test that we did there's the Zeppelin so let's click that and then we're kind of over here and you can see it says there's a copyright claim go up to details let's see what they say All right, it did not like Black Dog. Video cannot be monetized. Ad revenue paid to the copyright owner. Now, here's the thing. I could still play that, and I will not get a strike. Otherwise, it would say video cannot be shown, and it, it wouldn't let me do that. But the fact is, I just, if I play it, I won't get paid if I was monetizing it. Now, you can then, so say you make a full video and, you know, you like to put in your samples and you put the whole video in as private to find out what you can and can't do. You select action and then you can mute the song, you can replace the song, or you can trim out that segment, or you can dispute it if you feel 
my, that's what you want to do. So those are your actions. For me, I just find out what I can and can't play. So for instance, if I could not do Black Dog, then I would just not, I would just not put it in, into my video. But since I can, it's perfect. And I could play Led Zeppelin. And I really thought I would get a strike against Led Zeppelin. Now the adolescence, there's no problem. I, you know what, uh, those, those, those could be monetized. And the other one that I put in there, which now just totally escapes me, that can also be monetized. Only Led Zeppelin cannot. So that's how I look at it. Then I just go back. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of this. And then I just kind of come down to here. I'm going to hit this. I'm just going to get rid of this now because I don't need it. I'm going to, hit, I'm going to delete that thing forever. And yes, I do understand. It's private. It doesn't really matter. Now, for those that have your own video, obviously, what you would do is you would go in and under, when you're in editing, you can switch it from private to public. For me, since I don't do it that way, that's how it works. That's how I would throw in samples. Then I just edit it in. When I'm into my iMovies, I can edit drop them in wherever I want them. Uh, that way people can hear what the music is. You just have to decide if you want to do your whole movie or not. The biggest thing is private. Private prevents you from getting any kind of strike against you and allows you to change or fix anything you need to do. As I mentioned, if you put in your whole video, you can then take it out the part that you want taken out and then you just go down and where it says private and it will be on the um, right hand side you change it to public and boom your video is out there pretty simple uh, but this does allow for those that get a little nervous about strikes you don't have to worry about it you can check to see what you want to do really quick it takes about a minute to two minutes uh, for youtube to look at the songs if you have more sometimes it takes or really obscure it can take a little bit longer but not that long and so usually the day before i do a video i make my music samples i send it in and i find out what can go on the video most everything can. There are certain countries, Syria, Cuba, North Korea, and Iran that really have problems with a lot of samples, and especially the political ones, and they tend to block me here and there. So uh, anything from Africa, they don't like. So, FYI, if you're big into those countries. Hope that was helpful, kind of what I do in a very crude way, and I do have to clean my iPad. That was really dirty, and I really noticed that as we were doing this. So, hey, thanks for dropping in and seeing how I make this happen. Bye.